Hey everyone, welcome to Get Your Day Live. <clears throat> I'm back. Sorry, I've been a little under the weather the last few days, so we are back. Um, it is summer. It is summer here where I am. It is going to be over 100 degrees today. Totally unpleasant. <clears throat> But more importantly, I, like I said, I am teaching another online course somewhere else. And so I think days I'll be around will be Monday, Wednesday, Friday. So moving forward. Um, and hopefully Sundays, if I can get my, get my act together. Um, crazy how taking your mask off, um, well, it's not, it's not really crazy. I used to travel to Asia a lot for work. And I would see people wearing masks and I used to think, you know, living here in the United States, I used to think, oh, how strange, you know, or how interesting is that uh, everyone's wearing a mask. But turns out that it does keep you from getting sick, interestingly enough. Hey, what's up, Tom? Hello, Marzi. Dynamite, RK. Hello, hello. But yeah, it uh, <clears throat> turns out it helps helps keep you healthy, so... I'm going to be wearing my mask because I got strep throat and then I was feeling better. And then I got this weird cough, cold thing um, that just took me out this weekend. So anyhow, hope you all are doing well. Hello, redacted computer gerbil. What's up? <coughs> Still a little lingering, but at least I sound somewhat normal and I can function. Okay. So since we missed fan friday <laughs> and sci-fi sunday because i was sick um let's do a little review here dynamite great question when did i start drawing i started drawing when i was a kid actually but more importantly i i started taking drawing seriously when i was Ooh, dude i didn't realize you're interviewing at dyson that's awesome tom you'll have to tell me about it um yeah i didn't realize till as in college that I could do something with it. And so I decided to, I decided to uh, apply myself and work hard. Anyhow, so we'll kick things off with a review of the Discord server. If you're not familiar with what that is, you can check it out sketchday.com slash discord but we have a weekly sketch challenge channel and last week the topic was toys what is happening last week the topic was toys new ipad problems here give me just a sec Let's see if this is working all right there we go what is happening i wonder if this thing's going out anyhow so the topic was toys we did some toy sketches um this week so i'm just show off some of your work so we have apple jacks here with a super soaker that would be a fun one to sketch for sure maybe show a little perspective on i'm also gonna have to keep the stream kind of tight today i have an appointment that i'm heading to i'm gonna put some more art on my body <laughs> so that's what i'm gonna be doing today uh let's see here Okay, so thank you, Applejacks. Applejacks, one of our channel members. Thanks for the support. And shout out to the patrons as well. This one is by Tezin. Oh, mouse looking character. I don't want Disney coming after me, but nice work. How cool is a cucumber? I'm not sure what. To, oh, this is a childhood toy. Okay, it says struggling with rendering speed. You know, it's always a challenge. I can relate. I can relate to you there. Got Molto Beanie with a disc shooter. You know, I never had a lot of uh, toy guns growing up. I had water guns, but that was about it. Is this a Warthog? Let's see. Make this Lego. Da, da, da. This is not a Warthog, but it's pretty cool. Pretty cool looking tank. I I feel like this is one of those where you could take a screenshot of of the the Lego. No sound. Maybe you should reboot should be able to hear me if the sounds cut out y'all let me know um but this is one of those where you could take a photo and then um 
you know, sketch over it. And I think it'd be really cool. So nice work there. Jordan had some time tonight. Sketch an old favorite. Ants in the pants. Okay. Never. Oh, is this like you toss it in there? That's kind of cool. Really nice colors and perspective, Jordan. Like, I think you did a really, really, really good job, actually. Um, really great perspective. No problem, Dynamite. Really great perspective. And I think execution here. So it's really cool, Jordan, to see how you've progressed over time. So keep it up. Keep it up. So it looks like this is the game here, Ants in the Pants. It's like you toss them in. I've never heard of that one before. All right. So that's kind of the uh, rundown there. <laughs> I haven't picked a topic yet for today, so we'll have to, or this week. Um, I may continue doing toys or see what the mods decide. And we'll keep pushing along. Here's some mech studies in the Show Your Work channel. This is really cool. I like how, like, gestural it is and how few lines there are. Sometimes I, not sometimes, a lot of times I overdo it. <clears throat> So really nice work here. Um, I always recommend if if anyone is wanting to draw robots, things like that, just try studying like construction equipment, things that move, articulate, stuff like that. And you'll get that much better for it. Some shrimp studies here. Very cool. Mechanical studies by Felix. Awesome stuff. And it doesn't just have to be like product sketches, right? There's a... To Zin with some character sketches. Got an MP3 player. I haven't seen one of those in forever. Those old MP3 players. Not sure what character this is, but pretty cool. Nice job on the redraw. That's quite the improvement. And a lot of detail there. Like, wow, that's a lot of detail. That's more patience than I have, certainly. Um, that would take me hours to do. And I think we showed this last time, but uh, Gundam here by R Loud. So. Really impressive work. Hey, Lions. What's up? Um, so, yeah, like I said, I'm going to have to keep it tight today. I'm going to be doing pen and paper, actually, because we haven't done that in a while. So I'm going to switch over here. Let's put the old iPad back in my keyboard case. It's actually, it's actually a really nice case. It's a little bit cumbersome if you like to draw. That's this case here. It's a little bit cumbersome if you like to draw because you have to take take the uh, iPad out of the case to really draw with it but overall I'm super happy with it because I, I use my iPad to type quite a bit so it's been nice I know the white hasn't gotten dirty yet but I'm being careful to keep things like red wine and tea away from my iPad or coffee even all right so let's start and warm up and I think for my warm-up sketches, I'm going to do some shoes after I do do my lines here that I typically do. But if you have any other topic, idea, thought, I'd be happy to, to sketch that. Start with some lines, circles, and ellipses. You know the deal. That's awesome though, Tom. Really exciting that that you got an interview there. I've heard he's hard to work with, but I'm sure there's lots of team team members there as well. So if you do get the gig, we'd love to hear how it goes. So hopefully y'all are staying safe, like I said. Mask up, mask on. I know a lot of people don't think it makes a difference, and maybe it doesn't with COVID, but I will say getting two colds in basically two weeks, well, a strep and a cold was very telling for me that there's, there's some value there, at least when it comes to upper respiratory illnesses like the common cold. So, your mileage may vary. NYC Everything, what's up? Good afternoon to you, too. Hope you're well, everyone. NYC Everything coming through with the super chat. Thank you so much. Much appreciated. Is your YouTube, YouTube stuff up yet? Just curious. 
So yeah, I think I'm gonna just I'm just gonna do some shoes to start. But if you have any ideas, things you want to see, I guess I could do some architecture too. I haven't done that in a while. Or maybe that could be a theme for the week: architecture. Things that house people you could do interiors, exteriors, stuff like that. Put a pin in it, <coughs> so to speak. All right. So let's see here. I love streetwear. Streetwear is my jam. For sure. So I'll start there. A little bit of a, a little bit of a warm up. And by streetwear, I mean, you know, things like sneakers. I don't really have a concept here, just kind of freestyling, seeing what we come up with. I don't know what the shape is, but I kind of like it. Shoes are one of those things to me that, do I think ID is a good career? That's great. <clears throat> I'm happy to answer career questions for you as I draw here, um, whether it's ID or any sort of creative pursuit. Um, I'm an independent creator at this point in my career. Um, worked in consultancies, had my own business, worked corporate. You know, and each, each path has its has its perks right now being being independent um i think this is the the most successful i've been in life so that's been cool cool to see um appreciate y'all hanging out with me and being a part of this part of of my, my creative experiment and journey but um as far as id as a career goes i think it's a good career i just it's super competitive right now i will say so um, one thing to just be aware of is if you're gonna be i'm just doing some side profiles to, to kick things off but if you're if you're gonna be in industrial design just know that it is super competitive you know everyone wants to work at apple but not everyone can work at apple for example so if you if you get a job designing you know, toilet seat covers or something like that. Just be patient. Just be patient with with uh, yourself and recognize that, you know, the right opportunity may come eventually. Um, and don't be too hard on yourself. And I, I say that kind of jokingly, but also seriously, like not every ID job is glamorous. Not every ID job is going to be... You know noteworthy or whatever i've done a lot of projects that for example people wouldn't recognize but i've done some that people would recognize and, and that's fine too but either way you just have to I feel like i'm rambling a little bit but just uh apply i guess this is more of a basketball shoe apply yourself right work really hard and it'll all come together so That's what I would say. Takes time. Thanks, Tom. Just doing some side profiles here, and then I'll do some three quarters for fun. Feeling like sketching and chatting, so appreciate the questions if you have any career questions. Also, reminder, if you're a patron or channel member and you want some feedback of some sort, just hit me up. I'd be happy to take some time and give you some feedback on your work. Just another of the perks of being a channel member of that and, of course, getting access to 
the sketches that are created on the show here. High fidelity sketches anyways. That is to say, I actually scan them in or save the original files. You can have them for yourself. Uh, does that come with any tips for interview practice? Ah, good question. You know, interviews for me are... Well, first of all, I don't love interviews. I don't love going into interviews. <laughs> I don't even love showing my portfolio, but... Um, when I do interviews, like when I've interviewed people, one thing I try to do is get a sense of, hey, am I going to want to work with this person? So... Make sure your personality shows through when you do interview. Make sure you're not afraid to, to show up as yourself. I think it's really important that you know or they know who they're going to work with. And I would also say pay attention to things about the company as you go in. I'll tell you a story about an interview that I was a part of. And it's not a, it's not a story that paints myself in a good light, but I'm happy to share it. So I was at a corporation and hey, Latrice. Paper mate always on the stream. That's what I use. Or I'll use something like a, a Micron pen, but I'm just starting with paper mate here. So my nose still feels weird. Apologies. Let's just keep it shoes today. This will be fun. Um, but I was interviewing, I was part of an interview at this company, and we were we were a bit casual about the whole interview process, and we had this awesome candidate come in, and at one point, I was on my phone, and like a couple other people had checked their phones during the interview, which isn't that out of the ordinary if you're you know, working at a company and you have like messages and emails and whatever coming in. But this candidate that we, we all loved her, she was great. Um, we, we offered the job and she said, she replied to us and was like, you know, frankly, I don't know if I can work with, with all of you because I felt like, um, y'all weren't paying attention during my interview and that's really important to me to feel like I'm heard and I felt terrible it's like oh my gosh I didn't I didn't realize you know the impact I might have just that one thing one thing um oh okay so it's, it's with the one person with it was an online interview without anyone there cool so this person was like offended by by our seeming lack of respect for her. And that wasn't fun <laughs> because yeah, you know, I felt like I, along with other coworkers at the time, kind of ruined this opportunity for the company to get, um, get someone really good, right? So that's what I mean by pay attention to how the company treats you as well. Because it's, it's, I mean, don't be indignant and like cocky about it, but meaning, well, I'm here to interview you. Don't, don't be like that, but you can at least observe and then make your decision afterward. <clears throat> also, like I said, take some time to show up as yourself, meaning, you know, if, if you're a good, I, so I'm a, <laughs> I joke around a lot when it comes to social interactions and I try and let that come through whenever I have the opportunity um, because that's just a part of who, I'm, who I am you know so don't be afraid to show up as yourself and show off who you are these markers are kind of dry but don't be afraid to show up as as you are Do I think that shoe design is a good career? I've done a lot of shoes <coughs> in my career, actually. Um, I wonder if any of them are still out. I doubt it, but 
Maybe I'll check and share with you sometimes. But it was for a women's hiking company, hiking sh outdoor shoe company. Did a lot of designs for. Let me see if I can pull it up. Um, see if there's any here that I did. Okay. Oh, it looks like they are out of business. But they got bought by um, Kiva. Looks like. Yeah, I can't find them right now. Anyhow, did a lot of hiking boots, outdoor trail shoes, running shoes, stuff like that. That was pretty fun. So I did that for a while. Learned a lot. So as far as like shoe design goes, I've never actually worked for a shoe company, but I know enough to be dangerous. If that makes sense. And that's part of being consultant is you know enough you know enough to engage but then you can challenge things because you do know enough so as far as it being a good career one of my recommendations if you are going to go into shoes is make sure that you also practice and have like a diverse skill set and that's because you don't want to find yourself in a spot where you can't really participate in the rest of the design world. At least I don't think so. I like flexibility. So that's something I appreciate personally. I try and maintain. So I would say if you go into shoes, make sure you're consulting or doing something else. Um, or if you go into shoes, do it after you've had some other experiences right um and that way you won't feel like you know 10 years down the line all you've done is shoes and you can't get a job anywhere else right but if you've done other stuff like i'm starting a project this week for example that is <laughs> has to do with i should say i just need a thick black mara there we go um, has to do with wearable technology, right? But if, if all you've done is shoes and you don't know anything about technology itself and things like uh, RF interference or storage options or even the process of developing things, then you can't really participate as effectively in that, in that context. So... For me, I like to, to be flexible, remain flexible, and have um, have the ability to engage on those those levels. But great question. I know I went on long with that. But yeah, hit me up with any other career questions. This is fun. I'm happy to, to give you some advice. Let's see. It is tough to get a job. It is very tough to get a job. And I think part of it is there's just so many designers. And unfortunately... It's just not as many jobs as there are designers so that's why i say you have to be really good at what you do but also make sure make sure you're a, a decent person you know i haven't i haven't always been the best person i will say in my career sometimes i've been unfriendly or impatient or things like that and yeah you know it's, it affects it affects uh how you're perceived it can affect your ability to have opportunities for example right so just be aware of yeah, bro. the lingering side effects of who you are as a person it's not just about how well you can draw or how well you can make models or um, do VR or whatever it is your pet skill is it's also about who you are Greetings to you too from Turkey. As a graduate, are companies still looking for personality more than skill? Um, sorry, my ISO on this camera is really high. Let's turn it down a little bit. There we go. 
Um, <clears throat> I, I can speak for myself that oftentimes I'll see students kind of pontificating or like trying to jump into design strategy way before it's time. And as a young professional, a lot of times what um, people interviewing are looking for is really, this is going to sound terrible, but it's like, shut up and do stuff. <laughs> Meaning we just need people to execute, but not just execute, you know, observe, maybe challenge here and there, but don't be too assertive. And sometimes it can get you in trouble in the sense that if you if you come in hot and you're thinking, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna change this company's trajectory and design strategy and all this stuff, and you know, you, you come in hot, then it can be problematic. So I would say that companies are looking for skill, just like especially as a junior designer, it's like raw skill, right? Um, so that's just something to be aware of, I think. Thank you. Hello to Brazil as well. I would say one thing I want to experience still in my career as much as I don't want to work for a company, it would be awesome to work for like Lego or Apple just to see what it's like. I've heard I've heard stories, I've heard things about companies, but I've never actually worked for them. So it'd be it'd be interesting to get a little taste of that, so to speak. See what it's like. Man, I finally sketched with marker and Lori's not here. She was ass not asking, but <clears throat> Lori's one of our patrons. Love sketching with marker. I think about working as an industrial designer while as a student. I don't think it's bad, but just <clears throat> here's the thing. I'm I, I I still think of myself as a student of design in the sense that I don't know everything there is to know. I know a lot, but I don't know everything. Um, and I'm I'm more confident than I have been in the past. It's just you. How do I say this? I know that I'm gonna be wrong a lot, and that's okay. Don't be afraid to be wrong either. That's, that's my other bit of advice for you. I used to be afraid of being wrong back in the day, I will say, because I, I felt like I had, I felt like I had something to prove, you know, I felt like I had something to prove. But I think one of the some of the best people to work with are the ones who know they can be wrong and are okay with being wrong. Like, I don't know if you've worked with someone who thinks they're right all the time, but it's, it's not, it's not particularly fun. I will say that. All right. These aren't the same designs. I'm just drawing some shoes here. Like I said, Drawing shoes, shoes and talking design career stuff. That's a little too far.
which design careers are best for future earning if you want to make money as a designer get into user experience design don't do industrial design <laughs> but if you want to make money as an industrial designer i would say hmm that's a that's a tough one i would say maybe um get into car design it's really hard to get into car design though but get into car design or somehow finagle a job into or finagle your way into working for like apple or something i don't know what this is yet but we'll figure it out some weird shoe Some like prototype weird Adidas shoe. <laughs> so yeah, car design jobs pay well. I could have been I could have been a car designer, but <clears throat> decided I didn't love cars enough. I'm actually glad I didn't do it. I did an internship. Um I've said this before on the show that I'm just, I'm impatient, you know, and I wanted to be able to see my designs become real and not have to wait five plus years, which for car designers ten, can be the case. Not always, but can be the case three to five years. So I just wasn't willing to, to do that. There we go. That's an interesting, interesting line right there. It's kind of interesting. Do you think work as a freelance designer is better than a fixed job? I am more financially successful than I have ever been working on my own. Now, it's super hard, super, super hard. Hello, F.A. Aaron Kenbakor. Do some shout outs here. Let me know where you're watching, by the way. Um, Gadomar, thanks for the question. Tom, thank you for your thoughtfulness as well. Uh, Marie said hi to Lions. And NYC Everything, once again, check out NYC Everything on YouTube. Thanks for the contribution. Latrice, what's up? Much love to you. And thanks for, thanks for being solid and always showing up <coughs> here on the show. So the question was, freelance, is it better than design job? If you're, okay, I will say I'm an introvert. It doesn't mean I'm socially awkward or anything like that. It just means I, I tend to like my quiet times. Um, I'm very purposeful with my social interactions, energy, um, as far as... <clears throat> You know, who I spend time with, etc. And so being in an office for me is not always easy. It's not always easy. Um, so creatively, and that doesn't mean I, I can't work with people or don't like to work with people. I just find that my quiet times as a creative are just so much better working alone. So I do I do work at home here in my studio. Sometimes I'll go go out and work too. Um, but for the most part,
worked out really well for me um, financially uh, in terms of my mental health it's been great and it's something I actually resisted for some time because having a having a regular job is nice um, you know in terms of peace of mind and so on but if you can tolerate a little bit of uncertainty you can find a lot of satisfaction I think in working for yourself so all that to say <laughs> I prefer working for myself and I don't know I mean never say never but I don't I don't see myself taking on any opportunities anytime soon right but that can all change can all change <clears throat> don't know how to deal with people eight hours a day i mean i don't i don't deal with people eight hours a day like um i'll start a project or contract and i'm actually going to connect these so like the idea is that there's a strong line here probably should have connected like this too um so i'll i'll kick off a project and talk with a client and then once once that's kicked off, you know, I, I get to work on my own and do my thing. And then we review. Review concepts or whatever. Make changes. And I, I try to spell things out in my contracts. I'm also very selective about the work I take on these days. So I don't say yes to everything. Um, I'll pass on stuff unless it like really speaks to me then I'll just pass on it because the thing I've learned as a freelancer and or independent creative I'll put it that way is that unless I'm invested in what you're doing we're not gonna get the best result or the best work out of it <clears throat> so That's not to say I can't design when I don't want to design, but <clears throat> I just feel like the work is so much better when you're actually like excited. You wake, you like go to sleep thinking about the project. You wake up thinking about the project. I don't know if you've had those experiences before or feelings, <clears throat> but it's certainly a thing. Do I charge a weekly rate or per project? That's a great question. Um, I'm going to level up from your question a little bit and answer this way. Um, but there's, there's a really great video. Let me see if I can actually find it and I'll share the link with you because it changed a lot for me. All right. So if you've never heard of the future, F U T U. R, arch for design. Okay, I think I found the link. Check out this video. Um, I think that's it. Let's see. Nope, that is not the link. Don't click that link. All right, click this link right here. All right, click this one. So, how to charge? How to charge for design work? Um, <clears throat> what changed for like I used to? I used to accept pretty much every project because I was. I mean, you know, you're starting out. You don't really know. This was all the justification I gave myself. I didn't really know what I what I what my stuff was worth. I didn't know. And. It takes a little time. But once you figure it out, then you can be a bit more selective. So if someone says to me now, hey, what are your rates? <laughs> and this is going to sound really cheeky. But now what I say is, 
I say, if if you if I told you you could make a million dollars and you had to invest ten thousand dollars, would you do it? And people go, well, yeah. So it's like, okay. Well, I say, think about this project. <clears throat> Or my AC just kicked on. Like I said, hot day here. Um, so usually I'll say, hey, think about this project. What are you willing to invest for the success of your project here? But the psychology of capitalism often, and rightly so, that's just the way the system is, is such that... I'm trying to figure out where to put this line. Give me just a sec. Um, the psychology or the nature of the system is such that, yeah, you want to invest as little as possible and get as much as you can. So someone coming to you often will, they often will, uh, try and get as much as they can for as little invested and... It's not the most fun thing to have to haggle and negotiate. Okay, where was I going with this? Because your question was, do I charge weekly or per project? Sometimes it's per project, but I calculate things based on what I think my time is worth and the value I'm creating. So if someone asks me to do something in a very short period of time, it's going to cost more. If they ask me um, to come up with something novel for their business or brand that... Um, you know, will result in... <clears throat> tremendous revenue for them I try and have the price reflect that um, if the engagement is going to be ongoing over a period of time then I will I will often uh, figure out some sort of royalty arrangement or uh, what do you call it retainer So I have some engagements like that, um, and then others are just kind of fixed price. So it really just depends on the project. My paper made flare is drying so quickly. Is it the same? Yeah. It does dry up quickly. Um, Felix and I, I need to <coughs> follow up and work on this, but I think we're going to do something related to that for the paper made flares they do dry up fairly quickly he had an idea Felix had an idea on how to uh, make them refillable so we're gonna experiment a little bit try some stuff see how it turns out I don't like if this thing is some sort of wood grain looking. Tooling here. Kind of gnarly. But yeah, I'm not going to say I'm not going to say what I charge. <clears throat> I'll just say I do okay. Um, and <clears throat> the other thing about being selective is I get to decide what I want to stress out about <laughs> versus, you know, you work for a company and they can just throw whatever they want at you and you just have to do it. So... But at the same time, particularly in the United States anyways, I don't know how it is in the rest of the world, but oftentimes things like insurance are tied to tied to your employment. So that can be a little bit tricky in terms of navigating, you know, in terms of navigating life and your choices unfortunately so having the freedom to just go do something else isn't always the case 
because you may be dependent on that job for things like insurance or other benefits, unfortunately. So, you know, I don't want to sound totally insensitive and be like, yeah, if you don't like it, move on. <laughs> Go do something else. I definitely stayed in my, my last job way longer than I should have. I should have been doing this and being independent sooner. Probably, if I were to hazard a guess, a year. <laughs> a year sooner. That's what I should have done. But, you know, shoulda, coulda, woulda. You know, hindsight's twenty twenty. You never know how things are going to go, which direction your life's going to head. Um, but believe in, believe in yourselves, you know, believe, believe in your creative abilities. Don't doubt yourself. Um, take it from me. You're likely a lot more talented and capable than you think you are. So just believe in yourself, but also <clears throat> don't let your belief in yourself <laughs> turn into arrogance or some idea that you're better than you know others out there because it's not necessarily the case and you can find yourself blinded or blindsided i should say these are the these are the mcdonald's shoes red and yellow so yeah i've learned a lot i've learned a lot just from those experiences um but I do quite enjoy being an independent creative. Um, it's been the best time of my life. It's been scary, but also very, very rewarding. You know, find a find your niche, and then find a backup, and then find a backup for your backup, and you'll be all right. <clears throat> so if you like, like you know, when I was in school, I loved sketching, so I. I put a lot into sketching, but sketching is not all I do. Um, I do a lot of other things. This is a very big panel, I need to break it up. Um, I do a lot of things too. <clears throat> type shoe so be versatile you know figure out what you're good at <laughs> but don't just do one thing it's funny too because you know tom said he just interviewed at a company um i don't know if you've seen job listings these days but it's often like junior level position need three to five years experience and you're like what I'm just I'm just out of school how am I supposed to how am I supposed to do this thing you asked me for three to five years of experience and I'm literally just graduating well oftentimes it's not so much about the fact that you've been working for three years but rather that your your skill set is representative of someone who might have three to five years experience which that's totally fine and fair think to want as a company so it's just it's just more about looking at your skill set and making sure that you you can do the work right but yeah don't doubt yourselves <clears throat> and and put your work out there man like you know i keep saying go to the show your work channel get help check out the discord some of the biggest leaps i've made skill wise in my life have been because i put myself out there right i opened myself up to criticism um i used to be super sensitive to it like not in the way that i joke about it on the stream <laughs> or sometimes people come in they're like ha ah, yeah draw your lame and i'll just be like oh yeah you know you want to take over the stream that's cool uh, let's see your work and then they never post you know but uh, it was it was more like just being really upset and bothered. 
So it's kind of funny to see how far I've come, but you know, take take those opportunities to learn to to ask yourself, what can I what can I improve on here? Is there something is there something I can get better at that will help me out? Am I actually learning and growing from this experience? Ha! <laughs> AD says buy some Bitcoin. You know, I used to have a ton of Bitcoin. And of course, I sold it. I didn't hodl. Hodl! I mean, I had reasons to at the time, but I kind of wish I had held on a bit longer. I'd be able to retire right now. I'll just put it that way. Such is life. We don't always know what the future holds. If I should check Bitcoin price right now, I don't I don't even know what it is. Let's see. Bitcoin price. Is it still around 35? Yep, forty thousand dollars. Just like that. Crazy. Just wild. So I think I bought into it when it was like I know it sounds like a ton, but it was like seven seven thousand. Uh, talking about design, design career advice, even life advice if you want. I'm happy to pontificate and share with you. I've been through some stuff. I've been around the block for a bit. Okay, I do have to wrap up here pretty quick. I've got some errands to run, but Hopefully it's been enjoyable for you. Again, apologies for being MIA. I just got sick again <clears throat> after taking my mask off. So I'll be back on Wednesday morning for some more streaming. We'll we'll decide in uh, our little mod channel what the topic's going to be for this week. But stay tuned. Yeah, I'm going to use the big fat marker for these. I'm doing great. I was feeling a little sick, but I'm doing I'm doing great now. I need to do some more shoe drawing commissions. I, I used to draw shoes for people for fun. So if, if you like if you like kicks, you know, maybe some classic pairs or whatever. Happy to do, do some sketches for you. This is the the big fat marker so I like to call it BFM it's been a minute but yeah I do have to run in a little bit here <laughs> yeah maybe I will maybe if I happen across $40,000 I'll buy a Bitcoin again <laughs> Uh, I use comparisons to Hitler to win arguments on the internet at the drop of a hat. I will say this about Bitcoin. <laughs> I'll just say one thing. But it's a long thing. I don't think Bitcoin's going anywhere. I don't think it's going away. But I think it'll be a very long, hard fight for the currency to become legitimate. And if you think it's been long now, it's going to be a slog. Um, the reason I say that is <clears throat> it's a lot. There's, there's a lot of money out there. There's a lot of investment in traditional fiat currency. And it's not going to be until people shift their... And by people, I mean those who have power or influence... It's not going to be until they, my 
My nose feels weird today. It's not gonna be until they start investing in, these are the Christmas shoes. Investing in uh, Bitcoin and moving their money there that it's gonna take off. So, and there's gonna be a lot of resistance, right? So people wanna hold on to the value, the legitimacy of their own investments and curry and and uh currency so i think it's going to take some time to like see it take really take off okay i'm going to take this last question and then <coughs> and then we'll wrap so the question is can you share your university experiences with me Hey, what's that? Vivnit? What's up? Shout out to Vivnit Mumtal. I thought I thought you had the name of my company I worked for for a while. Alright. This is just regular printer paper, by the way. Alright, so it's nothing nothing special here. So my university experience, I actually started as a math major. Um, I wanted to be a high school math teacher. That was my initial plan and I found industrial design through a friend who would later betray me not really but we're not as close now um, <laughs> but found industrial design through a friend decided to try it out liked it and my university experience was an exercise in efficiency so I never did all-nighters I always tried to be meaningful purposeful with my time as much as i could um try to just soak it all in in fact as much as i dedicated to my craft i wish i had done even more like i wish i had put more time into <laughs> learning other stuff Wish I put more time into learning other stuff. Like if I'd learned some computer science, if I had um, done some sewing, things like that. I wish I had done that, but I didn't. So I would say my experience was largely satisfying. It was fun. Um, made lots of good friends, lots of good memories. I actually finished college early, so I grad. I didn't graduate before I started working at Astro Studios. I actually uh, got back. I got back from my car design internship, and then interviewed with Astro Studios that fall, I believe, and. Uh, and then I started working so which again is what and it, my, my employment was not contingent on me finishing my degree which is again why the whole college degree on your resume thing is just weird to me because no one cares it's like can you do the work are you a decent person awesome um, so yeah I never did an all-nighter tried to be efficient um, I actually, and I'm, I'm not saying this to brag, this, this is just my experience. I was so good at what I did that I ended up teaching the other students in my senior year. I was teaching people that I was, you know, in the same year with, teaching them classes. This is when digital sketching was just like a brand new thing. So I taught, I taught a car design class, some form development stuff. Um, but it was like a, a junior level class at the time. So that was fun. If I were to do it all over again, though, like I said, I would soak up even more than I did at the time. So just try and if you're if you're in college right now, just 
I know it's it seems annoying, whatever. I probably thought this way too, but just try and <clears throat> try and soak it all in. It's a very short time. Time flies. It goes super fast. Just soak it all in. <laughs> Don't dismiss my dismiss my college degree, says Ken. I'm not dismissing yours. I'm just saying like when I was interviewing people, I wasn't like, hey, did they graduate? It was always, can they do the work? Right. Can they do this job? Can they do it well? Wish you didn't work so hard. I mean, it's not, it wasn't, it's a great point, Lines. It wasn't so much like I was killing myself. Like, I didn't feel stressed at all. It was just efficiency. Um, I will say I was kind of a dork in college. Like, I didn't party and do a lot of fun stuff. That's for a few reasons. I grew up Mormon, so we didn't, you know, party and drink or anything like that. So my college experience was a lot different than what I would consider normal people. I no longer associate with the faith <clears throat> or its tenets. Um... You know, if you are Mormon and watching this, judge me as you want. But um, I will say that, you know, it, it kept me, it did keep me out of trouble, so to speak. But it also meant that I had to live life in reverse, so to speak. I could talk about that sometime if you want. I'm happy to. Um, so, yeah, it was just more like being really efficient with my time how i would how i would classify it i'm like way overworking this sketch but i do have to yeah i do have to go so thanks again for watching for hanging being part of the thangin'. i'll stop rhyming i promise so a couple shoes there with markers oh you grew up mormon tom is that what you're saying or you just uh try to be efficient yeah, no problem, Effie. Happy to... Oh, a bit of a dork. Okay, cool. All right, so started with some 2D views here. Did some 3D shoes. Um, we'll decide on a topic for this week. Share that out. Y'all are welcome to participate. Like I said, if you... Um, if you want to get better, put your work out there. Put yourself out there. Open yourself up to some criticism. And, you know, listen to the feedback that people give you. Don't just brush it off and be like, Well, you suck. Like, even if y'all want to critique these, I'll be like, okay, let me think about what they're saying. All right, cool. And then I get to decide if I agree or disagree. Um, but yeah, I love this chat. Um, if you're interested in this kind of stuff, talking about design career, um, or life advice, stuff like that, I'm happy to draw and chat at the same time. Love the questions. Thank you so much. Thank you, Lines, for holding it down. Thank you to the channel members and patrons for showing up and contributing if you're interested that is patreon.com slash sketch a day and there you'll be able to if you want to like i said lend your support to what we're doing here on the stream this is not it's not my main job i love hanging out and talking with you but contributions are appreciated. Eyeballs are appreciated. Thoughts and sharing are appreciated. So whatever way you can tr can contribute, even if that means sharing the channel um, or giving me feedback, that's totally fine. Much appreciated. Much love to you all. Okay. So with that, remember, passion is the process. Take some time to explain a concept to someone. Um, it's only going to make you better in the long run. And... Really, it wasn't until I started breaking things down and explaining to people that these concepts really cemented themselves, you know. Um, like, having to explain why a reflection looks like a reflection <laughs> actually makes you better at drawing those reflections. So, even something like that, all right? So, we'll do it again. We'll do a little draw and chat, career talk, um, life advice, whatever you want to know. But think of questions. Hit me up anytime. And uh, with that, take care. Peace and love to you. Stay cool. Stay healthy. Stay happy, and I'll see you next time right here on Sketch A Day.